Hello again everyone, this is Tim Buell for GottaBeMobile.com and I'm back today with another iPhone video tutorial. Today's topic is how do we remove native apps in iOS 10? If you've been using an iPhone over the years, you've probably noticed that included with your iOS are a couple of applications that you probably don't use too often, including things like stocks, contacts, home, videos, even FaceTime if you don't frequently use it. And now in iOS 10, you are able to actually remove those apps from your storage on your iPhone and retrieve them again later from the App Store. The way that you achieve this is simply tapping and holding on your applications, just like you would if you were rearranging your icons, but tap the X in the top left-hand corner, just like you would with any third-party app from the App Store, and you are prompted to remove it from your home screen. This is an excellent way to free up a little bit of extra storage that some of these apps might take up, therefore giving you more room for apps that you do want to download and have on your device. If at any point in time you do want to grab any of these applications that you have removed, you can just head to the App Store, perform a search, and from there, download with the cloud icon so that you can get that app right back on your home screen where it was previously. This has always been something that's been asked for of the iOS and it's great to finally see this feature come to iOS 10 and give us a little bit more customization on which apps we actually want to be a part of our daily lives on the home screen. So go through your applications and see which ones you don't want to be there and go ahead and remove them at your leisure so you can make space for any other applications that you think you're going to be using more frequently. I know I'm excited about this new feature and I hope you're excited to free up a little bit more space for apps that you don't use frequently. Take care.